Looks like Matt Monarch finally detoxed himself enough on the vegan diet to start eating meat again. Even better, he's now selling supplements that allegedly saved his life. Matt Monarch was the most popular raw vegan several years ago, having a huge online company where you could buy a variety of raw vegan products. Doesn't look like he's doing so well anymore. People are going absolutely crazy that I haven't shared what I eat in a day, my diet. So, um, they've been angry at me. They've accused me of being evil. They've pointed their fingers at me simply because I haven't shared what I eat in a day. Dang, I must be pretty big time for people to like care so much about what I eat in a day. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, they're going crazy because you influenced millions of people to follow a starvation diet, and those people are likely having health problems because of it. And they want to know if you're eating meat so they can either listen to some other brainwashed vegan or schedule a reservation at a local steakhouse. For all those people crying and screaming at me who don't even order from my company, here is your uh, video just for you of what I eat in a day. I mean, I didn't realize that I was such this shizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizzizziz
change had nothing to do with my healing. When I got back to the United States, I was introduced to these products, I started taking them, and miracles happened. I was able to start walking a half a mile a day, and then I built up to a mile a day, and then two miles a day, and now today I'm up to 5.2 miles a day. For a year, I've been bleeding in my stool, and I literally thought I was stressed about it. I finally made peace with it. And I was like, okay, I'll fine. I'll just live with this for the rest of my life. And I was taking iron pills just to like, so I don't run out of iron and get shortness of breath and not be able to walk. Like I experienced for eight months not being able to walk more than ten feet. I was living in a house eight for eight months. I couldn't even walk. It was ridiculous. I had to get a blood transfusion once, and then I was able to walk more, but then it went away again. So. After a week of taking these products, literally, the blood stopped. I couldn't believe it. A vegan diet made me so anemic I couldn't walk, so I ate a steak and took a probiotic. But it's not the steak, guys. Buy this powdered shit. I thought that meat was supposed to be horrible for your colon, but vegans are the ones shitting blood. Uh, for any of you vegans watching, I'm still selling carnivore doo-doo if you want to get your B12 and iron in. Any inquiries can be sent to frankatofano at gmail.com. So the big question of the day is, what do I eat in a day? Since everybody must know it, Matt Monarch puts in his mouth every moment of the day. Okay, so I've always been a fan of Dr. Norman Walker. He's the only uh, raw food eater who supposed raw food pioneer, we wouldn't call him a raw food eater, who lived to be 99, it states it on his, uh, on his uh, gravestone. Now, what he did was he ate 100% raw, but if you read all of his books extensively, like I did because I was a big fan, he also did some eggs and dairy. I'm not a big fan of eggs, but every once in a while I will do it. And um, dairy has kind of been like my lifesaver. So dairy is your lifesaver, but... I thought it was the products you were selling. After a week of taking these products, literally the blood stopped. I couldn't believe it. Um, what I like to, what I eat the most of is goat milk, milk, and chocolate. That's I'm on the milk and chocolate diet pretty much. No animals are harmed in the process of getting my goat milk. Um, I hope to do a video on my goat that I actually get milk from um, from locals here. I think that'll be a lot of fun. It's not actually my goat, but you know. I don't think vegans would really care about that too much. What do they call milk? Animal excrements that it's for baby cows? They call the meat dead, rotting, putrid flesh. Uh, kind of funny how a living animal to a vegan is the cutest thing in the world, but any sort of food product used to sustain life is some disgusting, vile poison. I don't know, maybe if you put some googly eyes on a steak, the vegans will like it more. Let me tell you how good these are. Here I am, as many people know, I'm in a lot of debt right now from the company. Like I woke up one day, I'm like, whoa. And here I am at the warehouse. On the last day before we had to close it down because I had to give up the lease because it was seven to eight thousand dollars per month and there's no way that the I could continue with that. And there's tens of thousands of dollars of product around and I'm looking, what should I take? And I look and I'm like seeing stacks of these crack out confections, almond butter bars and salted caramel bars. And I just took some stacks of them like this and threw them in my car and I lived off them until I left for Ecuador just a little bit ago. So that's how good these are. And all of my vendors have been incredible. I didn't even realize I owed all of the money. Um, for example, Crackout Confections, every time I place an order, I pay for the order up front, and then they, I put a little bit more towards past bill, and then I'm paying it off pretty quickly. I'm pretty happy about it, actually. So, and GoPals is doing the same thing. So all my vendors have been incredibly, most of my, almost all of them have been incredibly, uh, helpful with me and getting me through this mess. So I've been living off of these with the goat milk since then. And let me tell you, in those nights of trouble, when no Anyway, what we're doing right now is we're offering the caramel chocolate bars alongside the crack out confections 
almond butter bars right now at cost. Even with the funny little three packs. What baby? At the rawfoodworld.com, also known as matt-monarch.com. That's a very fitting name for the chocolate. Cracked out because this guy is nutty. Clearly out of his mind. So not only was he peddling his supplements that saved his life, he's also trying to sell chocolate bars. Does this guy have no objective thought whatsoever? Does he not realize how much of a low life he is appearing to his viewers? This really showcases the mentality of these vegans, how despicable these people are, and that they should not so be trusted. So here I was, eight months eating the same diet, only gained eight pounds, didn't heal, thought I was going to be bleeding out of my rear end for the rest of my life, and then I was gifted by a miracle these products, which are miracle products, that I started taking, and a week later, the blood literally stopped. I couldn't believe it. I'm already getting testimonials from people that are uh, coming in from taking it from just a week. P12 probiotics, the postbiotics, and the Synergy, Synergy probiotic blend. These three together... I've already gained, I healed me completely in a week. No, the miracle was that doctor who injected you with cortisol and took you to the hospital and whatever triggered in that decayed vegan brain of yours to drink some milk. Now, I'm not saying the raw food diet's no good. Um, everybody's different, requires different things. And in regards to this whole situation that I went through, there's a huge spiritual component behind it. If you knew what I went through you would understand why I went through the physical aspect of what I went through. Hold on, let me get this straight. A diet that literally kills you isn't no good. We know cute animals make you warm and fuzzy inside, and for some reason, they also compel you to kill other human beings through brainwashed malnourishment. All of you people who think it was Animal products that healed me, believe what you want to believe, that's fine. But uh, these products were literally gifted from me to me at the perfect time. Let's be realistic. There's no way he actually had these products at any point during this healing phase. He was on his deathbed in and out of the hospital, but allegedly had these supplements to take to save his life. He literally cured himself by drinking milk, and now he's trying to sell his naive viewers dirt powder. The next few minutes of this video is him reading testimonials to try to convince you to buy said dirt powder. I guess he spent all of his vegan blood money destroying his brain on drugs. I think this is, like, comical. This is, I don't know what else to think of this. The dude is drinking a gallon of goat milk every day and telling people a vegan diet is still okay and that they should buy his products to continue to support him. You, you can't you can't make these stories up. You know, Raw Vana ate some uh, not Raw Vana, uh, what's her name? Raw Alignment Elise ate some salmon, walked outside, jumped on a fire hydrant, and is now having a sexual relationship with Cargill. I don't I don't know what to do anymore, guys. Uh, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you do want to support me further, uh, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Uh, above all guys, please, 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 if you can share the video, social media, whatever it may be. If you guys do want to reach out to me for consultations pertaining to your health, send me an email. Frank A. Tofano at gmail.com. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.